Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and this is the NRSV Single Column Reference Bible from Zondervan. So this is the fourth review that I'm doing of a Premier Collection Single Column Reference Bible. Zondervan has three of them, the new NRSV Single Column Reference, as well as the New American Standard and the NIV. They're, they're a lot, very similar, but some slight differences. And then their sister company, Thomas Nelson, has the New King James Version. I'll throw a picture up so you can see all four of these Bibles next to one another. And, and you can see the, the NRSV is sandwiched there between the NASV and the NIV as far as the thickness goes, second from the bottom. Um, and so these are just really great single column reference Bibles, which I'm a big fan of, um, affordable for premium quality. This one is brand new, the NRSV, and a lot of fans of the New Revised Standard Version have been excited about an, an affordable premium quality single column Bible to come out. Um, it also comes in a leather soft edition, so there's two editions coming out of this Bible, but this is the premier collection in goatskin. Really, really cool Bible. As I said, all of these single column references have their own little unique um, characteristics depending on which translation they are. So I'm really excited to show this one to you today. Let's take a look. Okay, so start with the box. I really love the design work that they've done with this Bible, just the different little pieces. You see that, that logo at the top here. It's just really, really nicely done. On the side it says NRSV single column reference. The Premier Collection Bibles come wrapped up in this nice cardstock. The secret to not taking that off is to open it over here from the side. That'll, that'll help you. And then on the back, you have a full list of features and information about this Bible. And there's the Bible itself. This is, compared to the other ones that I own, this is one of the floppiest covers. Really, really soft. Uh, really great texture to it. You can see that it's got that perimeter stitching all the way around. It's got raised spine hubs, five of them, Holy Bible, New Revised Standard Version, and Zondervan. One thing to notice about this is that it's purple under gold. I wasn't really sure what I was gonna think about the purple, and I actually like it a lot. It's it's not subtle, it's definitely purple, but it looks really great. It's It's got a great color thing going on. You see the guild line inside, and then we get three ribbons of purple, silverish gray, and gold. So as far as the, the size goes, this Bible is the same as the NASB and NIV single column reference Bibles in that it is six and a quarter inches wide by nine and a quarter inches tall. This one is just a hair over 1.5, an inch and a half thick, which is thinner than the NASB, which is almost two inches thick, and a little bit thicker than the NIV, which is more thin. It's less than an inch and a half. So it's kind of sandwiched in between those two. It's edge lined. It's Smith's own, so it's going to hold up over time. As far as the exterior aesthetic and quality, this Bible is, is really great. Looking at the inside, you see that it comes with this uh, glossy presentation page there. Kind of takes the themes from the box. That logo continues it throughout into your title pages. Really great design. On the copyright page, we have the, you notice they're working on a, an update of the NRSV, but this is the 89 text. It's got a custom typeface from 2K Denmark, the NRSV comfort print. This little line with the design will come into play throughout. Here's your note to the reader from the translation committee. The NRSV is noted for being an ecumenical translation. It's widely regarded in academic settings as well as the church. This edition does not have the Apocrypha. It's the Protestant canon. So um, if you're looking for the Apocrypha, this one doesn't have that in there. And then you see the main text of the page. So um, kind of what you've come to expect from the single column reference Bibles in the Premier Collection. Again, I, I did mention that this one also comes in a uh, leather soft edition as well. It's a little bit less expensive. But these Bibles are a single column with references out in the margins. Um, this one you can see does not have an accent color, whereas all the other ones use like a red or a blue accent color for um, 
up here at the titles um, in the verses and the chapter numbers or even here in the section heading. So it's just a black letter text throughout, even in the Gospels. There's no red, red letter text for the words of Christ. I do like um, a couple things they've done. This little thin line at the top and then the bottom. So they've put textual notes down here at the bottom. And if they have it, it's beneath that thin line. The cross references are out here in the margins. Um, the verse numbers at the beginning of the paragraphs are bolded and large. Um, and then the, the section headings here are, are moved over, justified in the center of the page, which just has a different, a bit of a different feel to it. It actually kind of separates those sections um, a little bit more. You see on a page like this where it does move over here. People often worry about the gutters on these things, but I think it's really easy to read. This is a 36 GSM paper, really nice quality. It's a 10 and a half point font. It's line matched really comfortable to read. It's actually very, very bold, a thick, bold font that they've put in this one. Um, other things to note is that they put the where each page starts and where the last verse on the right side page. So, you know, it's 2 Kings 23, 17 is the first full verse on this page. 14 is the, the last verse started on this page, which I think is pretty interesting. So there's a couple of little cool design elements to it that I think are, are, are really impressive. Um, I'm going to go ahead, because this is most like the NASB edition, I'm going to bring this over real quick just so you can kind of see um, see them side by side. Um, and you can, so this is the NASB on top. You notice that they, they widened the text block column on the NRSV, so this is a little bit thinner on the NASB. What they did is you can see they, they took out the space between the references there, so you still get the wide margins but they made the, the text block a little bit wider. I think that's why this Bible is thinner than this one because, and also the NRS, NRSV is not as long as the NASB, but it just kind of doesn't shrink it up as much, which I think is really nice. And you can see the red color, the left justified, red up here. So it's just a little bit more simple and streamlined, but it feels a little bit more wide open to me. Really, really beautiful, um, easy to read. Oh, I, didn't, I also didn't note that that bold font. I don't know if you can see that, but this font is thick. It looks bold, more bold and thick than the other ones. It really feels dark and nice. Um, I mentioned that it's a black letter text in the gospel. This is one thing I noticed, which is kind of just a quirk. That line up there, see how it gets thick, thinner as it goes this way? And then vice versa on that. That's only in the gospels and acts on this Bible. Everywhere else, if I get back to the Old Testament, you see it's it's real thin all the way through. But for some reason, in the Gospels and Acts, it, it has that, like, thick to thin thing. I'm not, not they've done it at the bottom, just in those pages. I'm not sure what that is, but, man, just a really comfortable, if you're an NRSV fan, this is a really gorgeous Bible, easy to read, single column. It's very unique as far as um, what your options are out there for the NRSV. Now, when we get to the end of this Bible, get to the back of Revelation, we get a combination glossary and concordance. I really like this. So you take the idea of the concordance where you're seeing where different words are used, but you're also getting some definitions to them. So you get a little bit more in there and it's a combo um, all throughout two column. The font is really easy to read. The, the, the entries are bolded, but even like, look at this, you get that little line, that little symbol. Very well done. Just very well designed. There's a lot of touches here that I'm, I'm a fan of. Um, at the end of the glossary and concordance, as always, at the note regarding the typeface, I'm glad that Zondervan does that. That's really cool. 2K Denmark is an awesome company. And then your Bible maps back here on a kind of glossier cardstock at the end of the Bible. So what you have there is a really beautiful, well laid out, very unique uh, single column edition of the NRSV. So there you have it. It's the NRSV single column reference Bible from Zondervan. If you are an NRSV fan or a single column Bible fan, or you want to become one, you want to check out the NRSV, this is a great Bible to do that with. You have the option of the goat skin here from the Premier Collection, but there's also a less expensive leather soft edition that's the exact same Bible on the inside, just a different different binding. It's a beautiful Bible. I'll put some links to where you can purchase this Bible online. Um, I'll also let you know that at BibleReviewBlog.com, you can read a full write-up of this Bible, see some more great photos of it. I've got all those links there as well. So definitely check out the website. 
here on YouTube, please click that like button and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. And definitely check Bible Review Blog out on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.